man, honey, is that one alive over there? No, it's not. It's not breathing. Oh, it is. Just barely. Are you okay, little one? Oh, look, it's over here by itself. Okay, looks like we have a project. Yeah, it's just when she lays down, there's only like five teeth showing, and so they all fight for those five teeth. Yeah. And she's just not big enough to get one of them. It's like, uh, it's like Wilbur. Wilbur. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Charlotte's Web. Wow. So, we'll see how she does. So let me just count everybody here. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all eight of them are doing great. There's a small little orange one here. She's a fighter though. She gets, yeah. a, she gets a teat when I watch her. Here, well, well, let's see if this is a male or female. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little female. That's why she's so small. Yeah, she's not as strong. Okay. Is this too small for you? Yeah. So here's a regular size one, and then that's the runt. Yeah. So you can see like... So you, skinny, skinny. So you can see like the difference between them. Other than this one piglet, everybody else seems to be doing great. And when it comes to pigs and piglets, you hear a lot about them passing away. A lot of the piglets just dying off. But so far they're all growing really well, except for this little runt here. Hermione, you're such a good mama. Must be hard to be. <laughs> Why are you sleeping with your tongue out? She's so tired, guys. Oh, is it? Is it drinking? No, she. So hard. Do very good. <laughs> Come on. She's kind of searching and nursing a little bit, but she has to be all alone, or else yeah. the other ones just push her out of the way. Yeah, she can't even bite them. Even when she's here by herself, she only does it for just a second and then she comes off. I think we gotta take her a bottle feeder. Yeah, we gotta listen to her lungs too, make sure she's not sick. So I think we're gonna take this little one inside and start bottle feeding her. <laughs> These two are really good friends now. Yeah. <laughs> they like to play. Hey. <laughs> Is it a dog that thinks it's a goat or a goat that thinks it's a dog? Because <laughs> a dog not knowing that a goat thinks it's a dog. <laughs> be nice, be gentle. Hey, be nice. Hey! Oh, that's so nice. Ah, not the ears, not the ears. What a good doggy. You're really soft, doggy. Really soft on the ears. They both like to give piggyback rides to the other. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, your turn to do a piggyback ride. Get on. They're almost the exact same size. <laughs> one black, one white. Fire and ice. Oh, chicken. Yeah. Be nice. Be nice with the ears. Be nice with the ears. Time for a piggyback ride. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's enough. Poor little baby didn't make it. No, we tried today, but uh, she couldn't even drink very much. That's how it goes on the farm sometimes. Okay. 
Go bury her, I guess. Okay. So hard when stuff like this happens. Kevin's been trying to feed her all day, but she really hasn't been latching on, and so we kind of knew that she probably wasn't gonna make it. We tried to syringe feed her, and then she would just vomit it back up, so having only one dye is probably really good in terms of piglet survival, so we're happy that the other eight are still thriving, and hopefully they keep doing well, but this little girl, she's gone. Open up my heart and you'll find love, 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 That's the next little little runt. Yeah, two runts, and they never like to be held. Okay, let's see if it, see if that's a male or female. Oh, oh my goodness, that's definitely a male. Really? Uh huh. So the two little runts, the other one was a female. So the little okay. black one was a female, and then and then this one is a male. Okay, so remember, <laughs> you got that down. Yep. Okay. Okay, we've, we've looked at the names that you guys suggested and we pulled out our favorites. So we're gonna start naming the piglets. All right, so what are we gonna name that one? So I've looked at my name. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we should name this one Hercules. Okay, let's do that. He's small, but strong. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, hello, hello, don't be angry. Like, <laughs> all right, if that one is a female. Oh, really? Holy crap! That is a big female. <laughs> it is. Okay. Okay, uh, name. All right, so we're gonna name the one that's a little bit lighter than the others. This is gonna be Elsa. And she has two black ears. Okay, yeah, she does. Let's see. Well, a little pink spot. Okay. She also has waddles. Let's see. One right there. Come here. Oh my gosh, they're so crazy. They're oh, she hungry. has two, she has two. Okay, she has okay. two waddles. The one we'll probably get Elsa here confused with is this one right here. Cause she's, mo this one is, is mostly Mostly black. black, okay. So. This one has less spots. Okay. Okay, let's Tell figure out. Gender. Um, that one's, that one's a boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go on then. I think we should name that one Gaston. Okay, so the one that's that has less spots, but it's really big and fat, that's gonna be Gaston. Okay, so Elsa, Gaston. Okay, and then what is this one? Okay, can you see it from down here? I don't wanna tear from the teeth. Oh, oh my gosh, they're so crazy! That one's a boy too. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so. The orange, the one with the more black spots, but it's also a boy, is... Gus Gus. Gus Gus, okay. Gus Gus. Just so we are clear on all the orange ones. So this one is Hercules, and then we have one female, the lighter one here. She's got a big black spot here. She is Elsa, and then we've got Gaston and Gus Gus. So can we remember that? <laughs> okay. All right, so now These black for... ones look all the same. <laughs> well, okay, wait, but this one is striped. See? It's like a brindle. I think so. Yeah, that one has stripes on it, see? I don't know. So there's 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 light and dark stripes and then there's all there's dark dark stripes. So there's two stripey pigs and two spotted pigs. Okay, so the lighter striped one is a Arctic I already can tell that's a female. Okay. So what do you want to name that one? Let's name that Let's name that Merida because she has a little bit of Merida. Merida. Because she has a little bit of orange in her. Okay. She's more like a, Okay. So then this one. Oh, this one's also a little female okay. right here. This is a. It's also like a striped one, but it's a little bit darker striped. Oh, look, her milk just let down. Can you hear that? Yeah. 
They're all now. They're all like settled down. That let's name that one Dory. Okay. So we've got I've already for Merida and Dory, and then we've got these two little ones. I think the tiny one should be Tinkerbell. If it's a girl. Oh dang it! It's a boy. Uh, <laughs> um yeah, it's a boy. Okay, so that one is, should be Stitch. Okay. That could be Stitch, and then. This last one, a oh boy. Okay. Pumba. Yeah, that's a good one. Pumba can be good for that one. All right, Lydia. So say them all now. Oh gosh. Okay. Let me go over them. Kevin, it's hard to name your pigs. There's too many, and we can't tell the difference. There are so many. And just like that, the broccoli is done. So I picked the last little bits and we're gonna say goodbye to broccoli for a whole year. I have a little last bushel of broccoli, but it's okay because we have a bunch of carrots coming up and a bunch of lettuce to eat. And then later on this week, we're gonna plant all of our trellis growing plants like cucumber, watermelon, and cantaloupe, and then a bunch of tomatoes. So it'll be good. My seedlings look amazing, so those will be the next thing to plant soon. If you live in an arid climate like us, let me give you a little tip. Once the weather starts to get hot, which by March 1st we're starting to get a little warm, you have to keep your soil nice and moist and not let it dry out. So we use shredded wood chips. A lot of people use straw and other types of mulch, but we found that the shredded wood chips work the best takes a little bit of time, but once my seedlings sprout, I'll spread the mulch all around them, and this seriously reduces our water use by half. And it also just makes sure that everything stays nice and healthy, and the soil can be full of all of its microbes, and everything that keeps the soil working like it should. So there you go. There's my little tip for the day. You're so cute. Tilly's starting to wean them, and so she start she like headbutts. That's how she weans. She gets mad, and then she'll like headbutt one of them. Right now she's letting them nurse, but she's like, no. If they keep trying, she gets after them. It's like the <laughs> treadmill. <laughs> I lifted up this slide and found like six silky eggs. Yeah, she's in here. Next one the stalls. Oh, that was good. Uh oh, run. Let's see what they do when the train comes. Okay. okay, let's see if they're scared of the train. <laughs> A little bit. These two boys are gonna be sold as weathers to a local family here. So they'll just live a few miles away from us and be pets. It'll be fun for them. Weathered means castrated, so they don't breed. Yep, they're not gonna be breeding bucks. Okay guys, I made a grave mistake. Now, to be fair, I had good intentions. It just didn't turn out um, exactly like I had planned. So every spring, most goat owners will shave their goats in preparation for fair because they're gonna get their goats assessed by an appraisal judge and they wanna see all their structure, all their, their shoulders and their hip bones and their legs and everything. And I had the idea that although I'm not gonna show them at a fair this spring, that I will still get them shaved down so that I can get them assessed by a judge and, and see how their whole body structure is. Basically get them scored. So I hired a young girl, she was amazing. Uh, she has a little business where she does hoof trimmings and, and will shave goats and get them ready for fair. So she came by 
guy and first up was Willow and I wasn't really sure how short I wanted to go because I wanted to leave some of her coat so she didn't look so shaved down just enough so that I could see her body structure and um, well we messed up <laughs> because Willow got shaved really short shorter than what we wanted it's okay it's okay Willow's fine well, at that point we decided no we don't want to go that short on all the goats we want to just get a little trim so poor Willow was the experiment and <laughs> she's the one that looks the worst Willow did you get a funny haircut <laughs> I'm so sorry you're still pretty though you're still pretty it'll grow out just don't think about it too much, okay? You're still really pretty. All the others got trimmed up nicely, their hooves trimmed, and it's kind of nice to see their body structures and how their coats look without all of that overgrowth through the winter, but um, they they look a little goofy right now, especially Willow. So, um, so don't say anything to her. Don't stare too long. Right now we've even had to keep her in the shade because we're trying to make sure she doesn't get sunburned because she's really just too short right now. So I had good goals and it turned out fine. It just poor willow and we didn't end up shaving the bucks because their undercoat was so thick so we just kind of brushed out their undercoat so I didn't have Stella or Luna shaved down because they're not I'm not getting them assessed or anything if I ever do show our goats in the future at the fair to help to have them win awards and such I will have to shave them down that short it's kind of crazy be nice willow let Fern eat. Hi, Luna. You're looking really pretty today. <laughs> well, we buried little Tinkerbell here next to the garden so she can have a beautiful place to rest. But she'll get lots of visitors. Come play with her in the garden here. If you want to watch the video where Hermione gave birth to the piglets, click right here.